Check it out, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over some of the best update ideas that were recently posted on Reddit. Boom Beach has posted, and they are asking four questions on the next, um, for the next developer update, the Q and A that they're going to be doing. I know some of you aren't very excited about this, but I think it's going to be cool to see exactly what. Um, what is going to be coming to the game next. So let's go ahead. Let's get some old school Dr. Terrence loaded up, guys. We're going to be taking him down with the Alzucas and with Brick, um, which is apparently the chicken specialty now, guys, after the uh, after the big Leo Coach, uh, OP Destroy, uh, Solar Tacos, Crazy Turtle live stream we did on Sunday night, guys. If you haven't seen that stream yet, definitely go check it out. YouTube.com slash OP Destroy. Just search OP Destroy, and it'll probably come up as, like, one of the... Uh, recent things or whatever so without further ado let's get into these questions guys so um yeah so the first question we have from the psc life and hopefully we have more stuff coming from him on the channel soon he hasn't still hasn't gone back and checking about that but uh he says a while ago you said something to the effect of we have plans to improve operations but don't think that simply adding another map to the hardest operation was the best way to do so can you elaborate what your plans may include his next question you mentioned experimenting with more tribe boosts what can we look forward to so they're talking about adding more tribe boosts to the game. They were talking about revamping operations um, and kind of task force gameplay in general a while back. And we haven't heard anything from them since. So this would be something pretty, um, like, like these are pretty huge questions. Like to get new tribes and to get um, new task force gameplay in the same update, I think would be stretching things to get an answer um, on both of those, an answer that we want. But uh, still very interesting. So the next question you ask is, how do you guys feel about the temporary troops now that they have all had an opportunity to be played? Do you plan on any balance change for them? Any new troops in development? Um, so we'll go like this, like this, like this. Um, any new troops in development and what changes might you consider when designing future ones? So, would be, um, would be interesting to see what the next, uh, like just, I made a video of, like literally on this topic the other day uh, called the cycle of the, um, temporary gumbo abilities because we don't know what their plan is for this we don't know if they if they plan on keep doing this or if they're just going to um if it was just like a one-off thing or what really the plan is going forward and i think everybody would would really um like it, it it would be nice to know exactly what the schedule is or whatever um or like if they are purely a temporary thing or if we're gonna see more of them co uh, going forward i think that would I think that would be nice to know. Um, sure, some things are, are good to have as just general surprises. Like, oh, hey, like, we have Super Warriors now. Like, that stuff's great. But it would also be nice to know if it's going to be the last time we have it or if it's going to be a constant cycling uh, kind of thing. Um, so his next question is, any thoughts on implementing player profiles at some point? It would be so cool to be able to see Max VP or Intel or whatever else just beyond saving screenshots. And I think this would be fantastic. And this is also something that Supercell does for basically every other game. They do it in Brawl Stars. They do it in Clash Royale. Uh, they do it. They do really good ones in uh, Clash of Clans. They have like everything on there that you would want, like tons of player stats. Uh, you get all your War Stars, and uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of specific uh, stats that they have on their player profile. Now, what I would think would be cool is to show how many times you fully completed uh, taking down Dr. Terrence or Imitation Game or just things like that. Like, give us give us some reason to play these events every single day. You know what I mean? Like, other, like the stones are great. Sure, don't get me wrong. Chicken loves his Power Stones, guys. I love a good Power Stone. But I want some sort of ranking system. That's where the fun is. That's what we want. Um, you, we've really seen that kind of take off in Brawl Stars. People love pushing the ladder and climbing these leaderboards. And sure, the uh, the the PvP and uh, victory point pushing is great, but I mean, you can't always do that. You kind of have to have specific uh, setup to, to do that. You can't. It's not just based purely on skill. It's also based on statues, power powder, uh, your current BP level. A lot of different stuff goes into it. So um, to have something that everyone could compete at, at somewhat of a at somewhat of the same level or even just a reason to do the daily events to have them all tracked i think that would just be cool in itself um so player cool to see max yeah so i think those are some pretty solid questions big shout out to uh psc life if you have not seen uh, him on youtube guys he's cranking out the vids now so definitely check him out we're just promoting everybody today it's just chicken promotion day uh okay next question so he says 
Thank you for asking us for our questions. Have you considered a button to recall all offensive buildings off the base and into storage to allow us to more readily redesign the base layout? So this would be probably the next biggest thing. Uh, we need a base, base editor that actually works. Editing your base in Boom Beach is a giant pain box. Like, it, it's, it's not fun. It's really not fun. It's super annoying, and um, it takes a very long time, and I think a lot of people just don't do it because it's annoying and it takes forever. Um, and it's not like... Like, in Clash of Clans, like, just copy and paste what you have over in Clash of Clans because, I mean, it's basically the same thing. Like, it, it doesn't seem... Like, it wouldn't need to be any different for Boom Beach. It's just different buildings and stuff. And there's actually less buildings and less grids and less uh, pixels and squares and stuff to put into it. So, um, we're going to sacrifice these Zookas, I guess. Um, maybe we'll salvage it out, guys. Maybe we'll salvage it out. You never know. You never know what we're going to get uh, here. So, I'm also using Bullet's Taunt for no reason. He's literally doing nothing for us, but uh, just kind of standing in the middle. Uh, so, we'll go like this and like this and like this. And then we'll just get a bunch of Melt Kits loaded up, guys. One, two, yeah, we're not getting this one down. We're not getting this one down. But um, but yeah, interested to hear what you guys think down below in the comments of um, of your own speculations. If you didn't want to write on Reddit what uh, some questions for the team were, throw them down in the chat, guys. Throw them down in the uh, in the YouTube comment section. We'll we'll get to them there. Okay, bullet, come on, just get out of there, please. Um, all right, so next question comes from Gaming Jack, another Boom Beach YouTuber. Everybody's a Boom Beach YouTuber. Gaming Jack says. We have, uh, okay, let's get brick loaded up, guys. We'll quit clucking around here. Getting serious, getting advanced, getting skillful uh, with Dr. Terrence. Uh, thank you for, oh, we already read that one. We have multiple individual events in Boom Beach. Is there any plans to add new team events slash features, similarly task force operations? So this is a safe question by, uh, by Gaming Jack. Everybody wants um, new sort of task force gameplay um, operations. Um, mega crab leaderboard it's a weekly mega crab with a leaderboard like something like that i think would just be i don't know guys like how many freaking times do we have to say that that's all we want what are we doing chicken what are we doing here man can can we get this together are we talking about updates or are we just throwing the zookas into the mines here okay so we'll go one and two just like that um okay let's get a super warrior right about there let's get battle lords loaded up guys and we'll go like this and Stage 6 should not take us more than two tries. That's getting pretty embarrassing at this point, guys. Uh, one, two, three. We're not going to do it again, guys. We're not going to do it again. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, can you add a bigger map or start expanding to different Ar Ar Arpelagas? He means Archipelagos. To find different challenging islands. Would you consider a second island like Clash as Night Base? That would be awesome. I really enjoyed uh, the, the Night Village in Clash of Clans. I think that was a fantastic addition. Um, I just thought it was cool overall. Let's go up the left side this time, guys. Um, I don't know why I staged... This is Tropical Dr. Terrence, too. Like, this is just bad. It's just bad. That's the only way to describe it. Uh, okay, so we'll go like this. Okay, and then we'll go like that. Flare him right up here. Come on, guys. Come on. Go over this way. Just like this. And then like this. And then like that. And then like that. And then we'll throw a health pack down. We still have brick. What are they what are they doing? Did I flare out of the sniper tower? Come on now, guys. Come on now. Uh, okay, so we're like this and like this. And we're gonna get roasted again here, I think. Holy Jesus, man! Stage six! The chicken can't do stage six, guys. Oh, disconnected. Yeah, that's that's why we were doing bad. That's why we we're doing bad. So uh, let's quit messing around here. That's enough for eating the update stuff. Clearly, we can't do that and play at the same time. So, um, yeah, let's just go way over here. One and two, and then we'll go like this. And then we'll go bang, bang. Just like that, guys. Now, the trick is to this. All we have to do is get the Zookas there. It's not that hard. It's not hard at all. We just have to do it. So, we'll go like this. Trim some of the fat Zookas off the side. That's fine. Bang, bang, just like that. And, uh, okay. So now we're looking a little bit cleaner, guys. Now we're looking a little bit cleaner. So we'll go like this. We'll flare onto the HQ. Hard stuff, I know. And then we'll go like that. And then like this. And one, 
two, and thank you very much. The chicken completed stage six, guys. Round of applause. Round of applause for the chicken. What a what an attack. What an attack. Holy Jesus, man. Moving on to stage seven. We had so much trouble with stage six. I am excited. I'm even excited to see how we're gonna how we're gonna swing this one. Um, okay. So what we should do here, guys, is we're gonna take out this machine gun and this mortar flamethrower pocket. Uh, what we like to call the pocket. And we'll go like that again. Ooh, that's getting pricey. And then like this. Okay, that should be fine. We'll go like that. Get all the girls loaded up. Then like this. Flare them all right up like that. Then we're going to go right about here. Back, back, back. And okay, we want to keep Rick alive. Preferably. Doesn't have to be. But preferably, guys. Preferably. Okay, so we got Brick loaded up. We got all the guys there. Let's go with a Super Warrior. Right in deep. And then we'll go one shock right onto the shock launcher. One shot. Two shots. Three shots. Boom. Stage 7 goes down. Back, back, back. So let me know down below in the comments, guys, what, uh, what you think of the... Uh, the update question what, what do you want to see out of the next update let me know that down below in the comments guys that is going to wrap up the video today make sure to leave a like if you're interesting entertaining or informative and we'll see you in the next one guys chicken out